Bro. Yo. I just want to get my two cents on what's been going on out here. Especially with the, all this anti-passport. What it comes down to, these cats won't these cats want the benefit of being the so-called select male while good and competent brothers like us carry the weight of the so-called community on our shoulders. And some of these real lames out here, the guys that really want to save the community but don't want to put in work, they want to sit on the bench, on the sidelines, while brothers like us are on the front lines, so-called carrying the weight of the community on our, on our shoulders. And guys like those, man, they're opportunists because they don't want to do the work because they know they're not comfortable enough and they want guys like us to put in the work so they can benefit off of it. These guys and these females, but these guys, though, they want us to be Cleveland Brown. It's the Cleveland Brown syndrome. These guys want us to be Cleveland Browns, get with a so-called straggle daggle, all of the name of the community, all in the name of keeping it black. You black, your mama black, we black. You, you're going to have to accept the fact that in order to so-called save the community, Blackville, the nigga box, is that you're going to have to accept the fact you're going to have to be a stepfather, a a.k.a. the cleanup man, just like Cleveland Brown. He got with an unattractive straggle dagger with his first marriage. She ended up cheating on him with Zaddy. Then he remarried to a straggle dagger with two kids by Pookie. <laughs> you can't make this up, man. It's like Cleveland Brown from the Cleveland Brown show. No, 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 no. Yeah. That Cleveland Brown. And they want us to accept the fact that we're not the so-called quote unquote select male. We're not gonna be able to get attractive females, the top tier females. We're gonna have to accept the fact that the female or the straggle daggle that we settle with is gonna be ran through by Pookie and Ray Ray and these so-called select males. You just gonna have to accept it because you ain't the select male. All this other nonsense. And man, these people really give me step, especially these females. Talking about in order to save the community, you're gonna have to be a stepdad. How about you choose better quality mates? How about stop messing with Pookie and Ray Ray? Or the swag type dude. The Matt Daddy type dude. The baller type dudes. How about that? But all now what it all comes to. They want us to be Cleveland Brown. And I refuse to be the cleanup man. And I refuse to be Cleveland Brown. I'm going to tell you who I'm going to be. I'm going to be Afro Samurai. I'm going to go what I want it and go what I want. They be like, in the hood, you was lame. But in Japan, you the wizard king. You know why? Because they really don't respect us. They don't respect good and competent brothers. They just want to use them because they know they're competent. They know they have a lot of potential. Like, what is the use of trying to save the community if you're getting the short end of the stick at the end of the day? Especially when it comes to these females, the main dating scene, or just respect 
in June. Those type of guys, they're not even the select guy when it comes to different aspects in the so-called community. Resources. Religion. Mating and dating. Education. And when we explain our positions, they don't care. It's like they don't want to see us happy. Apparently, to some people, it's a feminine, it's a feminine trait. Wanting to be happy. So we're saying we should just be on our stoop all day being miserable. Because you know what supremacy and, and, and our lives have already been predetermined. There's no hope. You can't escape. Like it's like, what do we do then? Just see him be miserable for the rest of our lives, constantly looking over our shoulders. It's defeatist. And I refuse to live my life like that. And they want to talk about female nature. Female nature is universal. Female nature does female nature that. I get it. Honestly, I get it. You're right. You guys are right. Female nature is universal. Doesn't matter what type of female you deal with. Yes, I get that. But at the end of the day, there is a culture difference. Depending on the female that you interact with. There are value differences. And, and female nature. The thing about that is. I feel like some guys just use female nature as an excuse. To justify that incompetence will comes to some of these females. Not all. But some. Because I notice. Some of these guys don't spot female nature. Does female nature that when it comes to. The quote unquote struggle that book. When brothers over here talking about passports and travel, all of a sudden, female nature. Female nature does female nature that. Female nature is universal. And I think some of these guys are hypocritical because you're spouting that female nature stuff, but at the same time, you still desire. You still desire one. And you really just want this struggle that go. To straighten up. Some of you guys. You're just using female nature as an excuse. To throw brothers like us under the bus. I'm talking about thinking black man. You guys going to have to excuse that. My dog's outside barking. Y'all don't want to see us happy man. You guys want us to suffer. Put our dreams. Put our happiness on the side. You want us to be sacrificial lambs. You want us to sacrifice ourselves for the sake of the so-called community. And I'm saying y'all can have that because I'm not going to do it. I refuse to do it. And I've been noticed this for a while about how fake and fraudulent these guys are. Some of these guys claim to be quote unquote mental or red pill, especially red pill. I noticed I've been noticing this. For like a minute ever since last year or around the end of last year, a.k.a. 2018. But some of these guys, they will start their channel up, pretending like they red pill. And that as they build their channel up, they slowly start to change. It's like Freezer from Dragon Ball Z. They you know they can transform. You know, he can transform to a second form, a third form. And then he'll slowly work his way up to his fourth and final form. That's how these guys are, man. That's exactly how some of these guys are. And by the way, this is another video, man. Some of these red pill dudes will switch up in a minute. Some of them are just blue pill simps or purple pill simps in the now. And the red pill, the thing about the red pill is that it's been watered down. And I will talk about that in another video because I'm thinking about making some type of um, black pill videos, to be honest with you. And not a so-called traditional black pill video, but more of like a food for thought type of video. I'm just going to label it as black pill, but I'll be making videos like that sometime in the future. But all in all, guys, man, don't worry about these guys. 
These guys are clowns. You got guys like Kiraki Jones, Mad Bus Driver, King Sentma, debunking these guys, and they can't take that heat. So these guys are cowards. They're the real cowards. They want to go hide behind Black Avenger or hide behind Patreon. See, I seen dude video. He took him out of Black Avenger and put him on Patreon. And then he made another video replying to us on Patreon. Then he had the nerve to call King Sigma a coward. And, and the irony of this is that he made videos like this dude. I'm not going to say his name. He made videos calling out some of these pro racks a few years ago. Now he's acting like a pro whack. Isn't that an oxymoron? But brothers be happy. It's SYSBM, EBM, Midtown, Black Pill, whatever you into. Whatever floats your boat. This is Phantom, and I'm out.